Peace, my friends. Hope you're doing super well today. It is Ben back with another yoga practice. Today we're gonna to be opening the hips, creating some strength in the legs, as well as working on some balancing postures and really just, it's another full body practice. It's another practice with good energy where we're uh, aiming to create equal amounts of space and strength. So without anything else needing to be said, let's go ahead and get started. So as you get started coming into downward facing dog, and give yourself a moment to ground, to spread the fingertips, to shift the weight around, anything that you need. Maybe just a couple deep breaths. And kind of release whatever you were doing before this, release whatever you have planned after this, and just let this be something that can occur here in the present moment. All right, so from down dog, look forward, and begin to walk the feet to the hands, finding a fold at the top of your mat. Take a halfway lift when you get there, lengthen the spine, right? So a halfway lift is not just lifting the torso, it's extending the spine. We go for a long extension of the spine, inhale here. Forward fold, exhale, soften your knees as you fold. Lift both hands up to the sky, inhale, rise. Bring hands to your heart, exhale. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Let's just establish some flow. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands to heart. Find full movement. So as you inhale and reach the arms up, stretch up, look up, lean back. And then exhale, fold. Softness in the knees so you can really find your fold upper body to lower. Halfway lift. And this time, place the hands down, plank pose. From plank, lower through chaturanga. Then pull through to upward facing dog. Up dog takes us back to down dog. And let's flow through our sun salutations here. So inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, walk or we'll hop top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up, stretch up, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, place the hands down, step to plank. Inhale in plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Full breath in. Breath out. Inhale, look forward, rise to toes, bend the knees. Exhale, top of the mat, walk or hop. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Place the hands down, plank pose. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. One breath in. Breath out. Inhale, lift heels, bend knees, look forward. Exhale, top of the mat. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, stretch up. Press the hips forward. Exhale, into your fold. Halfway lift. Exhale, step back, plank. Hold plank on your inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Two more, inhale, lift heels, bend knees. Exhale, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart. 
Inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Plank pose, exhale. Stay in plank on your inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Feel the space and the growth that we're finding in just these few minutes here. Inhale, lift heels, bend knees. Exhale, top of the mat. Inhale for halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step back. Exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale to Up Dog. Exhale to Downward Facing Dog. Right from Down Dog, right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Step through, Warrior Two. So right foot all the way up, and then rise to your Warrior Two position. Spread your arms nice and wide as you get to Warrior Two. Let's pause here. Slow things down for a little moment. Feel the pose, feel the energy radiating out through each one of your fingertips. Hmm. Triangle pose, extend the right leg, reach the right hand forward, then drop the right hand down. You can let your right hand land on your shin, on your leg. I have a block here that I'll use in some poses. That's really up to you. From triangle, start to bend your right knee and then scoop the energy up, reverse warrior. From reverse warrior, come to side angle. Find your variation of side angle that works. I'm gonna go for a bind today because why not? I'm feeling it, it feels good on my shoulders today. I'm feeling open for it, so here we are in side angle. But you can always just keep your arms spread wide as well. Release any bind, reverse triangle. Ooh, reverse triangle, just like reverse warrior, except we allow ourselves to straighten our front leg. And then from here, head into half moon pose. This is where I'm gonna go ahead and utilize a block, especially on the first round, but probably for every round. <laughs> half moon, blossom into your balance. Embrace the challenge. Try to give yourself a couple breaths. All right, from half moon, we're headed to chair pose. So let's pull the left knee in. Close off the hips, be gentle as you land in chair. I know it's a tough transition, so feel free to take it step by step. And if it doesn't work for you, you can always just break it down and just meet, just lower the leg and then step forward, take your chair pose. From chair pose, option for crow. For crow, hands down, knees to triceps, float your legs. From crow pose, find forward fold. So drop the feet down and fold over your legs. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, place your hands down. Step back to plank and then go through a flow from there. And we'll land in down dog eventually. When I say go through a flow, I just mean the optional chaturanga to up dog. All right, left leg lifts. Left foot steps through. Let's meet in warrior two. And then breathe. Find patience here. We live in a world where everything is rushed. And yoga is a little bit of a antithesis to this. Triangle pose, extend, reach, and then find your trikonasana. The goal is to stay light in the left hand. So if you see the screen, you'll notice I just have two fingertips on the ground because my goal is to actually more so lift up than fold down. So of course we're hinging and folding, but the energy of my upper body is actually lifting even in the fold. All right, bend your left knee and reverse your warrior. Inhale up, exhale side angle. Either rest your elbow down, reach the hand down, or of course, if you're with me, you can always go for the bind, but there's no need to. Whether the bind is available for you or not depends on many things. It depends on how long you've been practicing, how flexible you are, what you did yesterday, how, how you're feeling today. So don't force anything. Be compassionate. Release your bind if you have it. Reverse your triangle. Extend your leg. Reach it up. 
and then try out half moon. Shift forward. If you have a block, use your block. If not, then totally cool as well. You don't need anything. And that's the best thing about yoga for me is that you don't need anything. You don't even theoretically need a yoga mat, although it is nice to have one. All right, bring the right knee into the chest, close off the hips, go for the soft landing, chair pose. Crow pose. If you can't do crow pose, just pause here, lift the knees to the triceps, bend the elbows, begin to shift the weight forward and that's where you are. If you wanna float one leg or two, do it. But don't let your inability to do a posture now impact your ability to even try. All right, drop your feet forward fold. Halfway lift. Place the hands down, step back to plank, and then move through your optional flow, which will eventually guide us back to downward. Facing dog, right leg lifts. Right foot steps through, warrior two. Rise up. Pause, breathe. Triangle. Bend your right knee, reverse warrior. Into side angle pose, bind or no bind. Your choice, your practice. Reverse triangle, extend both legs, stretch it up. Half moon pose, rock it forward, try out your balance. Look up if you feel stable enough. Look down if you need a little bit more stability. Chair pose. Take your sweet time getting there. There is no rush, my friends. You can always stay in chair or take crow. Right? Chair pose, of course, is a challenging pose for the legs. So if you don't want to do crow pose, which is, of course, an arm balance, then stay in chair. You'll get just as much challenge. It's just for the legs. Forward fold. Let's all meet in a forward fold. Halfway lift. Forward fold, place the palms down, and then it's your journey as you step back. Eventually, let's meet toward our down dog. Right, from down dog, left leg lifts. Left foot steps through, warrior two. Rise up. Triangle pose, open. Reverse warrior, bending into your left knee. Side angle pose, shift forward. Release any bind and reverse your triangle. Big lift, then head to half moon. Be patient with yourself. I'm purposely not cueing breath to movement because I want you to stay in your own breath and that's a challenge you can give yourself. You don't need me to tell you when to breathe. You can trust your breath, you can stay in your breath and you can stay in the moment. Chair pose. From chair pose, stay or take your bakas and a crow pose. Let's meet in forward fold. Halfway lift. Vinyasa, flow from there. Let's meet in downward facing dog in a couple breaths. From down dog, two more rounds. So right leg up. Step the right foot through, warrior two. Seal the back heel down and rise. Triangle pose, open and extend. Reverse warrior, bend your right knee, rise up. Side angle pose. Reverse triangle, half moon. Energy in the lifted leg, energy in the left foot. Chair pose. Stay in chair or crow pose. It's whatever you need it to be today. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Exhale fold. Step back and then it's your journey to downward. Facing dog. Left leg up. Left foot steps through, warrior two. Triangle pose. 
reverse warrior, bend your left knee. Side angle pose. From side angle, head to reverse triangle. Extend your left leg this time. And then try out balancing half moon. Go for it. Have some fun with it. Explore. Chair pose. Just being grateful for the privilege of movement. Crow pose. You know, we don't need to be so hard on ourselves all the time. We can try our best and then we can be proud. Forward fold is where we meet. Halfway lift. Your flow from there. Let's meet in down duck. And we just have one more round to go. You know the journey. This is why I love repeating flows several times. Right leg up, right foot steps through, warrior two. I love repeating this stuff because once we have familiarity, then we can get out of our minds and we can really be embodied in this experience of the flow. Take triangle pose. Bend your knee, reverse the warrior. Side angle pose. From side angle pose, release your bind and then find reverse triangle, extending your right leg and then head into your final half moon pose. From half moon to chair. And then from chair you can stay or take crow pose. From crow, beat in forward fold. Halfway lift. Place your hands down, step back and move through your journey. Then of course, we just have one more side to go and then we'll switch it up. So left leg up, left foot steps through, warrior two. Seal the back heel down and rise. Triangle pose. Bend your left knee, rise up, reverse warrior. Take this into side angle pose. From side angle, reverse your triangle. Extend through your left leg, create new space, create new possibility, and then head into half moon. Chair pose as the right leg pulls in, place it down. From chair, stay or take your bakasana, crow pose. Meet in forward fold. Halfway lift. Place the hands down, step back, and then it's your journey from Eventually we meet in down dog. And as we meet in down dog, lift the right leg up, three limb dog. Step the right foot through, then rise up for high crescent lunge. So this time we stay facing forward. We stay high onto our back heels. We're not, we're not sealing the heel down. We're staying high onto the toes. All right, from here, let's open the arms into a twist. So right arm back, left arm forward. All right, that's right arm back, left arm forward. From here, reverse it. So bring the left hand to the sky and allow your right hand to rest on the back of your left thigh. Allow this to be an expansive posture. Take an inhale. Exhale, release the left hand to the ground and then find wild things. Step the right foot over and behind the left. I'm gonna take this into a flip dog, right? The difference between wild thing and flip dog is subtle. Wild thing just keeps the left leg extended and flip dog kind of allows both of your knees to bend. But it just kind of feels better for me today. All right, and then from here, we're gonna pull the right knee into the chest and step the right foot all the way to the top of the mat. As we step it all the way up, drop the left knee behind you, quad stretch. And so bring your right hand to your left foot, take a quad stretch. Right. If you have a block, a block under your left hand makes this a lot more possible, but I'm actually feeling pretty open just because of what we've done so far in this practice. Give yourself a moment here. Breathe into it. And then from here, release your bind, find pyramid pose. So straighten your legs and pull the hips back. Find your deep hamstring stretch. Step back to plank. We'll flow through your optional vinyasa from there, chaturanga to up dog, and then we'll meet in down dog for the other side. So as you get to down dog, left leg lifts, three-legged dog. Step through for high crescent lunge. Keep everything on the forward facing plane. Twist the left arm back. So right arm forward, left arm back. We always twist in the direction of the front leg. 
and then reverse it. And look up to your right hand as the left hand finds a home on your right thigh. Inhale. Exhale, right hand to the mat. Step the left foot over and behind you. And then blossom up for flip dog or wild thing or even you could stay in side plank. Right. From here, we'll close it off and pull the right knee or excuse me, left knee into the chest. Left foot steps forward. Drop the right knee down. Quad stretch, lizard lunge variation. Or any other variation of lizard lunge. Some people really like folding their forearms down to the inside edge of the left foot, which you could certainly do as well. Go ahead and release this and we'll find pyramid by folding over the left leg. Give yourself a couple breaths. Bend into your knee, step back to plank. That's your optional flow from there which will eventually take you to down dog. From down dog, right leg up, three-legged dog. We'll do this one more time. Step through for high crescent lunge. Just one more round. And twist the right arm back. And then reverse the lunge. Inhale up. Exhale the left hand down. Flip dog or wild thing. Step the right foot over and behind. As you close it off, pull the right knee into the chest. Step all the way through. Then find your twisted lizard lunge with the option for the quad stretch. Go from here to pyramid as you close things off and fold over your front shin. Step back to plank pose from there and then take your journey, which will eventually land you back in down dog. And then we have one more side. So left leg up, step through for high crescent lunge. From high crescent, twist the left arm back, and then reverse the lunge. Inhale up. Exhale the right hand to the mat. Step the left foot up and over, flip dog, or your wild thing variation. And then close it off, and we'll pull the left knee into the chest. Step through your twisted lizard lunge with the option to take a quad stretch. And then release that and fold over your left leg. Start to bend into your left knee, step back to plank, and then move through your optional vinyasa from there. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Let's reach right leg to the sky, three-legged dog, and then step the right shin through for half pigeon. Lower your right hip down towards the mat. You can always use a little cushion underneath the right hip if you want. Lift the chest high, inhale, exhale, fold. Slow it down, let this ground your spirit back into the practice. Slow down your breath. And let the slower breath slow down the fluctuations of the mind. Start to lift up. Right leg back up to the sky, three limb dog. Then from here, let's just switch sides. So left leg up, left shin steps through. And of course, modulate your body until you find what feels like a nice orientation for your half pigeon. And then use an exhale to fold.
All right, start to lift up, and this time we'll just swing our back leg around in front. And let's come to boat pose. All right, so as you come to boat pose, we float the legs, bring your hands up, and then begin twisting. Reignite the fire in your core. Keep going for 20, 19, 18. You got this, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, on 1. Pashimotanasana, seated forward fold, sit up tall, and fold. We're not here for super long. Just take a couple slow breaths. All right, so as we lift up, let's take boat pose one more time. And this time we'll go high boat, low boat, high boat, low boat, high boat, low boat. And then just keep going at your own pace here. And we'll go for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. You got this. 14, 13, 11, 10, <laughs> 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then on one, just lay down, and then find Supta Baddha Konasana, feet together, knees wide, arms overhead with your elbows bent. Let's take a couple breaths here, land on your back. We'll create a twist. So let's bring the right knee in, then twist the right leg across the body. I like to do this with my right leg extended out because it adds in a really nice IT band and outer hamstring stretch. So twist in any way that feels good to you, and then breathe slowly into that twist. And then eventually, let's switch sides. So let's do that same twist you that you might have done on the first side, and just take that energy over to your second side. And breathe into it, of course.
Come back through center. Take Shavasana. Extend your legs long. Rest your palms by your side, facing up. Let the entire body just become one with the earth beneath you. And imagine that just if, even if just for one moment, the entire world was taking slow, deep breaths. What if every being in the entire world was taking a slow, deep breath in this moment? Imagine every living being on the planet was breathing with you. So when you took a slow inhale and filled up the belly, so did they. And when you take an exhale and relax completely, so do they. It's through this type of energy that I sincerely believe that even just by taking some deep breaths, we are slowly inch by inch, moment by moment, we are slowly making the world a better place just by something as simple as taking a deep breath. My friends, this is where I will leave you today to take your Shavasana for as long as you would like to do so. I always recommend about five minutes for Shavasana, but even if you only got two minutes or maybe you have the luxury of having seven to 10 minutes, allow yourself at least a little moment of rest, of bliss, of releasing all obligations, even almost releasing all identities and allowing yourself for this moment to become nothing. And it's through that emptiness that we're able to blossom into a whole new world of possibilities whenever the time comes when we sit up, when we bow to our space, and then when we proceed to whatever comes next in our day, in our practice, in our life. With that being said, thank you so much for joining me for this practice today. It's always an honor, it's always a blessing, and I always enjoy the opportunity. So feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments or anything like that. And until next time, have a blessed day. Spread some love out there, and I'll see you soon. Peace.